hello hello let me make this tripod a little bit hi guys welcome back to another video let me open my super chat here on my computer so that i can see you so that i can see join me in today's live or even if you don't join me even if somebody don't find time to join me i will continue talking and people will find this live later on and watch let me see if you guys are saying anything in the super chat nope So we are going to talk about, um, it's almost like in continuation of my last video. It, it's almost like the continuation of my last video of moving back to Kenya from diaspora after 12 years of living in, um, hold on, hold on guys. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, after 12 years of living in, um, yeah, after 12 years of living in, um, <laughs> I need to, to, <laughs> sorry, yeah, so, after 12 years of living in a diaspora, and I do know that there are people who are asking me, I keep saying this diaspora, this diaspora. What is this diaspora that I keep talking about? Hi, Margaret Chando. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. People were like, what is this diaspora that you're talking about? So it seems like the people who are asking which part of diaspora I am in don't know about my videos and they don't follow me. So I am in the Emirates. I've been living in the Emirates for uh, the past uh, 12 years. I came here in the year 2007. Yes. So um, I saw that in that video, the video that I made, my last video in moving, you know, preparing to move and me reminiscing my thoughts and just sort of sort of just talking to you guys about how I feel about this entire situation of moving. And so many people have have opinions, obviously. People will tell you uh, this and that. And there is one uh, particular comment that sort of got me. And you know, you guys, usually here on the internet, people are very quick to dish advices. Not necessarily um, it's a bad thing or a good thing, but I just want to say wh what I feel about this. That is the reason why majority of people don't like to open up because when you talk about your feelings or how you feel, when you talk about your fears, when you talk about um, sort of your past experiences in life and how they have shaped how you view life in general, you find that people usually just uh, feel like you need a psychiatrist. You know, somebody will, will write, rightly just tell you, you know what, you have baggage and you need a psychiatrist. Like, you don't need to think the way you are thinking. You're wrong for thinking the way you're thinking. It's not a bad thing to um, to need uh, go to for counseling or or go for. I don't want to put, make it seem like I am stigmatizing uh, uh, people who go for counseling or something like that. But for me, I don't know. I don't. That is particularly the reason why people do not like to. Um, um, to open up here on the social media because sometimes when you open up and you tell people like you are real and you speak to them about the real issues the real feelings for example now I'm moving back to Kenya how I feel for real so it's sort of me just opening up and bringing you guys into my thoughts but there are people who feel like I need help right someone and I didn't ask I didn't ask I do know that that you feel like it's okay for you to dish that advice. But for me, I feel like this is how I took it. I know that somebody was telling me, you know, you need 
help to tell somebody to help you navigate from the past trauma the things that you have gone through um in my case coming from a very uh, extreme poverty let me just say uh, outright coming from a, a background of extreme poverty and a lot of things that i don't go into this one is somebody will feel the need to tell me that because i came from this background for me to navigate through life having sane mentality and the right mentality i need help i need to go for counseling or i need to to seek uh, uh, guys i don't know how that makes me feel i don't know how that makes me feel as in i'm not I, I, for me okay first fine i can really like go for counseling because there's a, there's other things that I, you can go for counseling for that need it's a good thing i think but sometimes people don't don't necessarily if i don't ask for a certain opinion you don't need to give it like i don't ask, i didn't ask for it i didn't tell you that i am actually uh, my mental space is horrible i am depressed i have anxiety i have panic attacks i am this and that and i need in that way obviously i will need help but in this in in my last video i don't know that I, it's it's almost like for me it, the way when somebody tell me you know what you need to seek counseling or you have too much baggage especially when someone says you have baggage that needs to be sorted out i feel like that's rude you know that's just me i feel like that's rude because having been coming from a, a background of extreme poverty and what if you know like my background is not very lucrative lucrative or luxurious so yeah i feel like me talking about it here is sort of just me opening up and letting people know a different side of me because i know that youtube or the social media people want to paint perfect picture of not even even if they are going through um stuff they don't want to talk about it because hey, in social media, everything is glossy and perfect. And the minute, uh, that is why I actually, again, I don't blame those people, which is, it is quite sad that if somebody is gonna come to social media and sort of give people picture, picture perfect life without giving people their background or if, even without telling people their story, where did you come from to reach to where you are? There are a lot of people here who, who are showing off big houses nice cars and all this but you don't know what is their background on how they accumulated this type of wealth you don't know you don't know what they did you don't know their mentality you don't know their mind space you don't know but yet this is what is more like people feel like that is acceptable you know if you live like this and you have this type of lifestyle that seems very glossy you don't need help you don't need to seek counseling you are good but meanwhile, me, when I come here and I try to like sort of let people get into my space and, and you know, um, talk about my fears, talk about based on my experiences, my background or all that. And it's very normal for somebody to fear, especially if you live, you've been living in, in, a, in, a, in away from, you know, from a place and now you are relocating. People have different anxieties and whatnot, and also like the fear of insanity and everything. You know, the insanity, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. But there's, there's just fear that is surrounding moving, you know, moving and the, everything. But I just feel like I don't need to be told that, that for, when I talk about my past experiences, I don't need somebody to tell me to, that I have too much baggage and I need, I need to seek help. I don't need that, right? And I don't know if you guys are overreacting regarding this, and maybe they meant well and they didn't need they need, didn't mean anything bad, but kindly just sort of comment uh, because I want to know: am I overreacting or what? Because you guys, in life we have like for me, I wouldn't tell somebody who who've just been born in 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 luxury, somebody who who will speak. Uh, you know, somebody who have not experienced life in the, you know, in, um, they have not, they don't experience uh, like uh, two sides of life.
to know how it feels to be poor, how it feels to be living in luxury, how it feels, you know, for, they don't know. They don't know how it feels to. I wouldn't tell that person that because, because you feel that, because you, your mind is very closed and you have not experienced life in this other way, I need you to, I need you to go for counseling so that you can understand life in the other lane, in the other part where it is. You know, like your mind is not just supposed to be focused on, I do understand that I don't need to just focus on, on uh, the fact that I, I don't want to be where I used to be, right? I don't need to focus on that. But there are some things that you cannot help. They are always in the back of your mind and you have to make decisions uh, constantly and deliberately make decisions. What? This is going to piss me off so bad. Mm -hmm. And the house, nobody is, is at home. Like the people, no one is working at home. I'm just here and people are so I even the internet is overreacting today. Like, give me a break. I'm online, please. Talking of that, that is children. If you hear noises, background, there's a kid in this house. So never mind. So anyway, guys, sorry, I don't want to ramble. But what is the time? Four o'clock. I think they, they are back. I've heard them. So... Sorry, I, I don't want to ramble, but I want to say to you that based on the title of this video, um, um, again, moving, and I know that right now, okay, in diaspora, in, in, in the US, even in particular, there is a lot of people who are thinking of moving away because based on the things that have been happening lately, there is lots of unrest, there is a uncertain. Uh, it's just uncertain, you know, whether you want to invest your money there or whether you want to go back home, come back to Africa with the knowledge that you have attained in the U.S. Um, you, you want to because, guys, I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I've never been in, living in. I mean, I've visited U.S., but I've never lived in the U.S. But I know that there are people who are living, moving away from the U.S. The, because they just sort of feel like they, their life is not moving forward, depending on, I don't know, work-wise, maybe raising your ch children, health, health insurance. Um, and it's very sad that there are actually people who are moving away from, from Africa and they want to come to the U.S. because they have a feeling or, or the mentality that things are better in the U.S. While people who are in the U.S. are also, also feeling that they want, like they want to move away from that. So there is an article here. There's something that that was um, was put, and um, in a page that I follow, um, sort of um, parent group page, especially uh, people who are raising a family or are looking forward to raise a family. So there is a lady, a lady who sort of uh, brought a conversation and was just saying that. Um, I'm just wondering, with all the unrest currently playing out in our country, which is U.S., is everyone thinking twice about having children now in the U.S.? And they just, uh, I think there was a Twitter, some, someone posted on Twitter, and uh, someone was saying the United States ranked the second worst country in the developed world to raise a family. And he continues to say that out of 25, out of 35 developed countries to raise a family, the United States was, States was ranked next to last, 34th place. The second worst country in the developed world to raise a family. So out of 35 worst countries to raise a family, the United States became number four, number 34. So second last, worst developed countries to raise a family. 
And I do know that people want to come, but listen, guys, I know that in Africa itself, life can be better if it is not for, uh, for the way the place is being mismanaged by the people in, the, in, the, um, in power. And also like uh, security, police, um, you know, police uh, force, um, the way they, they are acting, you know, everybody is sort of mostly just uh, um, interested in their stomachs. People are not interested in building uh, the country and, and working diligently with integrity. Most people are like, they have this culture of, of you know, like they close their eyes when they see something happening, just give me the money, I will close my eyes, I will let you go. Whether it be it criminals or there's a lot of things that 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 go and a lot of things are happening in Kenya in particular that people, a lot of people go unpunished. So um, if you want to, if, if moving away, like moving in Africa is not the worst thing, to be honest. If you have a way that you can um, you maybe first of all the reason why people are running away is because of the pay pay is close to nothing depending on which company you're working for i know that there are people who earn a lot of money but also they need you need you need to know who depending even if you are so much educated you need to know who for you you know so in africa in kenya it's not like it's it's a place that people don't it's not they there's no integrity so even the people from the U.S. they might come and the the culture or the way things are, are the way people are used to conducting things they might come with their education and with everything in the hope of coming to build the country but you will feel that you find that they will go with the flow and find that this is how things work here and then they will start also behaving and having this the the same mentality as the people in Africa or the people in Kenya are having so. Um, so I just want to read for you guys the comment because to be honest, even here in, uh, in the Emirates where I live, I live in the Emirates and oh God, where do I start? Raising family here. Oh, don't even go there. It's not a conducive place. It's not a good place to raise a family. I know that there was a lady who was telling me that she wants to pack and just leave the country she wants to leave kenya with her children together with with her housemaid and she just wants to move and she was thinking about her first stop is dubai darling <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about just you know everybody people not i'm not sure i'm not saying everybody as per se but i know that majority of people just want to get out of africa as much as possible they just want to get out because of the happenings, a lot of things are so unfair, you know, especially living in a place where there is no integrity and people are not, people are smart, but they can't be bothered, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. That is why even nurses, they are very less paid and there are people who are supposed to be paid. The doctors are very less paid. Uh, this are one of the, because when they think of, I'm going to, if I go to, a place in diaspora i'm gonna be paid more than i'm paid here so why waste my my mind my brains to to stay here you know most of them they are not thinking as we need to we need to build this country we need to make sure our country rise we need to stay here instead of going to the u.s that is not their first priority they just want to move because the the government is not even looking up for them this is looking out for them it's not caring about paying them and establishing them so the more you you've studied all that you have loans to pay your education loan and all that but you keep working less pay uh, corruption and you know and so people just opt to leave they want to leave they just want to leave as much as possible so when this lady was telling me was emailing me and telling me what can i do i want to move really but i am like it's it's very hopeless situation here here in the emirates it's very hopeless situation the people who are working with the government institutions or um those are the people who are actually have good jobs where part of their children's school fees is paid for and their accommodation is also paid for and 
probably a car is paid for especially people who are working with uh, with embassies you have no idea the people who work in in you know the expatriates who are working in the embassy here in dubai how much money these people are banking at the end of the day probably in embassy also to work in the embassy or to work in this kind of government institutions you need to know somebody you don't just need to come from nowhere with your UD, Harvard University degree and say, you know, I need you to give me this job now. Uh -uh. It's based on high corruption, you know. That is the reason why people are leaving. In majority of time, people are just fed up. They, can, they have good education. They can barely hold a job or even not even hold, find one, you know. They can barely find one. And if they find it, I think it's very hopeless. So I do know there is one lady here on uh, on in in YouTube. Her name is Karethi. Art Art Karethi. You see? Is her name Art Karethi? I'll link her channel below. But she is one of these American ladies who are very very convinced that America is not a good place to live. She have a history being born raised in America so she is urging all Americans to come back home like get back to Africa and build Africa come back with all the resources all the education that you have accumulated from the US and it's time for you guys to leave leave stop investing your money in that country come back home and build home so this lady is um, stop sort of urging Americans to get repatriated, to get out of America as soon as possible. And she makes videos and her videos are very blunt. And she talks about exactly, you know, what uh, her mind space is sort of, she's very hurt on how she feels that, she feels that Africans can do better and they can do better in Africa while also blasting the the horrible happenings and the corruption and the, the mediocrity that is happening in Africa because right now she left US and she is living in in the Gambia. So she's gotten like sort of in the real estate business and she set up homes and all that and Airbnbs and you know she have a website where she is like sort of um, maybe is it maybe maybe she has a tourist uh, company where she is sort of like uh, facilitating uh, the repatriation process of all the U.S. citizens whom sh she actually urged to get back to Gambia. And just now, it's the airports are closed, and actually she has convinced so many people to now think of sort of leaving America and come back, come back like home, of course, repatriation. So, um, and I do understand even when you go to this lady's uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube page and you see how people are commenting, especially... Um, anyway, guys, let me talk to you about the thing that I was talking to you guys about. People always think that the grass is re greener elsewhere. But I wish, I wish that everybody had a mind of building your country and togetherness and, you know, working with integrity and hiring the people who are actually, um, who actually deserve a post rather than hiring people based on I know you and you are a friend of my friend come and work here and you know it doesn't matter what degree you got but since you are a friend of my friend based on people are getting hired based on who knows who and it's corruption based right so I wish that things were different in our African continent and I wish that the government were more more really just interested in 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 the, the well-being of their citizens and building in, 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 infrastructure yeah building roads building you know making it you know making our our continent a bit more uh, you know co conducive environment for the people to live like there are even areas in in, in Kenya itself that uh, people are being poisoned by lead you know lead is it called lead lead poisoning whereby the government knows very well that there is there is a there is a, a settlement it, it's like a place where humans live but they are allowing a, a company to come and set up a camp or, a, or a, an industry whereby you know the industry is sort of polluting the area and causing people to die of of lead poisoning 
So it's more of what can I get rather than how can I serve my people and how can I make sure that their life is, is, is better. It's only like the rich, the rich are always like, on top and the poor are always, are always mistreated and not looked. I don't even know, guys. I think I don't even have enough English to describe everything that is happening. I wish, sometimes I wish I was native English speaker for me to be able to, um, for me to be able to convey the language, I mean, the message, the way I would like for it to be conveyed. So anyway, the US, US people are thinking of, of the, Art, Art Carty is urging people to come out, you know, with whatever money, like honestly, I feel like sometimes I look at I look at people who live in the US. I do not understand the entire situation about living in the US because I feel like I don't know, man. I feel like it's deep. It's deep. Like people are living from like people like the life there is just too expensive for life. And the toiling and the suffering and the work workforce and and I don't know, man. I I I like you pay taxes and and health health insurance is 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 rubbish i don't know guys how do you live there? <laughs> how do you live there maybe i don't want to say rubbish i don't want to say things that i don't know man how do you live in that us of yours it's deep um you have to work so many jobs and not only okay so you guys i'm gonna read for you guys there what people are saying because these women want to have children. But then somebody just brought it into this page and they were saying that out of 35 developed countries to raise a family, the United States, out of 35 developed countries to raise a family, the United States was ranked next to last, last place. The second worst country... Hmm? Out of 35 developed countries, all right. Out of 35 developed countries, the United States was ranked next to last, 34th place. The second worst country in the developed world to raise a family. So, um, so the United States ranked the second worst country in the developed world to raise a family. And then people are talking about this. So I'm going to read for, for you guys. Um, so someone is saying it is not going to get better soon. We need mass uh, legislative change at the federal and state level for it to improve. Um, delaying by a few years none, does nothing but delay. No, America has always had unrest and it always will. Um, somebody says, if anything, it made me uncertain and the, uh, it made me entertain. If anything, it made me entertain the idea of moving, uh, but doesn't stop plans. She doesn't want to stop plans of having a kid as family in the u.s but she has entertained the idea of moving away from the u.s okay somebody is saying here sadly i'm very aware okay she's saying sadly i'm very aware of this and i am already a single mom of two in the u.s the usa is terrible for health care education safety and then in quotes, gun violence and hate crime, and has a great rise in maternal deaths during birth. Um, during birth, no, uh, no good maternal leave in this country, and we work long hours for subpar sub insurance. Women earn less than men for the same job. With all of this in mind, and, uh, and after an, an enormous amount of thoughts, I've decided to go ahead with a third baby alone. However, my circumstances are better than the average, 
and in other circumstances i will not be choosing the same am i scared yes i am and somebody else is saying yes but we we are not all usa based all the time and i am considering a permanent move overseas i'm not attached to to any one location it's just the easiest place to get pregnant with legis uh, legalities and all that jazz um i qualify for dual citizenship so i may pursue it so my kids can have it too J uh, just move it's it will be fine so she wants a dual citizenship so her children can also have probably dual city american citizenship but she doesn't uh, consider america as a permanent place to live so she's she's not attached to it and she will she anyway something else Mm. Um. I'm still going ahead with my plans, but I'm definitely worried. Oh, oh I'll read for you guys. I read for you guys, but goes a long way in African country. Um, do you know that the value of the U.S. dollars is at all time low? We are behind you coming home. America is just a cash cow for us Africans in the diaspora. We are coming back home. I am in Atlanta and sending money to South Africa monthly. Are you sending money to South Africa monthly to set up a house there or to set up your repatriation or you are sending money for your relatives? MM motives. Why are you sending money monthly in the in South Africa? To who? To whom are you? Or you are investing? Uh, uh, it's a uh, it's. Uh, so, ladies are talking here. And people talk. Um, this was and frankly, I don't have the time to energy shut this out today. I'm closing comment here. Uh, So somebody is saying, so this group is basically for women who are looking to have children and they want to have children. They are most of the majority of them are based in the U.S. and they have different arrangements on how they want to have children, whether they are married or not married. But yeah, so this is the group here. Um, somebody is saying, yes, but um, we are not all USA based. Uh, all the time and i am considering a permanent move overseas oh no I've, I've read that one our parents generation faced fear of nuclear war protests race and gender presidential assassination etc things tend to feel more f huh? things tend to feel more fears worthy now because of 24 hour news channels and the internet the same things were going on people just as aware people are just as aware so she's saying that the same things have been happening from generations to generations but she feels like the the channels the and all this news and internet is sort of making it making it you know news channel and internet uh, the same thing okay I don't think about stopping trying so much that is trying for a child as I think that if it doesn't happen well maybe it's for the best both because I'm American and we don't live in a family friendly culture huh? mm -mm. maybe it's not the best but because I am American and we don't live in a family friendly culture because also be also because I think climate change will result in a very, very different world 50 to 30 to 50 years from now. And I don't know if it's fair to bring a child into that. Okay. I'm still going ahead with my plans, but I definitely worry and wonder if I'm being selfish at times 
hopefully it's just the anxiety talking and it will all turn out okay um continuing on i can only hope things will get better but our country has always gone through turmoil to better itself i hope i can bring a child or children into into this world that can help continue to better and fight to improve our country mm. somebody is saying no nope, there will always be shit going on in the world um mm. somebody there's always going to be something there was unrest in 1960 and 70s but our grandparents still chose to have our parents and still parents still choose to have us i chose the same somebody else is saying after i had my son i started feeling uncomfortable about raising him in the usa it got worse even though i've always had a mind a mind to homeschool when i was pregnant with my second and last last baby i put my house on the market and moved the whole family to mexico right when she was five months old my goal is to be um to be based here but travel a lot and 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 school them around the world i'm so glad i got out if it weren't the c19 i'd love it here but i think with the pandemic it has it has dampened lives no matter where you are it will have held me back though it wouldn't have held me back though you guys in this group that i am reading from <laughs> i don't know people are very sensitive obviously most of them are americans so somebody raised this concern and then people reported this post people in this group the ladies in this group reported this post how dare you tell us that the way the world is or america is the is, is not a conducive place to raise a child how dare you tell us so they tell the admin to to sort of you know not to discourage them with this kind of uh, things so they don't want to listen they want to bring a kid guys i'm sorry for the noise in the background it's it pisses me off sometimes because only when i start to film that is when the noise is there but hey i don't have it other any other way so um um so yeah they've reported this post and this post is supposed to be like you know the admin did not block this post but the admin was like you know admin was just like remove the comment altogether because people were commenting and people had views and i don't understand this type of uh what i think it just went i don't understand these types of uh of uh, of uh of pages whereby whereby you know it's like people a page is there for people to enlighten each other for people to talk about issues in the community or just people to just air their concerns and to talk but then you find that people get into their feelings and feel like no don't tell us that you know facebook It's very easy for people. I don't even know where that post has gone. It seems like it's a, oh yeah. So I am again reading for you guys. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Um, okay, somebody is saying, I believe it's not going to get better. This weighs on my mind too. I just, uh, I just perhaps think more about relocating also i do understand the us the us the uss ratings america are all about work 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 money 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 till you die no sense of family not like some other country particularly europe where where some offer up to 18 months maternity leave so if this is like if you feel like you are not even enjoying your life because you are going to be work, 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 pay bills, pay, 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 pay. You cannot even afford a house, a place to, you know, with your money. When you are there in your U.S., I feel like 
you need to just save this money as much as possible and then find a place to invest it like find a place where you can a different country where you can be able to build a family home and then come for your retirement in a different place rather than paying mortgage for the rest of your life because other parts of africa than it is in the u.s where you just build a house and then you end up paying mortgage or you buy a house and then you end up paying mortgage for the rest of your life but when you compare it to you know to kenya or other parts of of the world or let's just say in africa it is much much easier because look at me like less than you know for me like less than 10 years i'm done building a family home and you know less than 10 years i don't have mortgage i don't have debt i'm not on debt i don't have i don't owe anybody any money whatever i owed i paid it off you know I sacrificed myself and I said I paid it off as much as possible and then now I'm, I'm debt free. So I can live my life not thinking about debt, paying mortgage and whatnot, even if it is just a small family home. But this idea a lot of like you're working for the rest of your life, you keep paying taxes and you know insurance, I don't know man. It's different. It's, it's different from one individual to an individual. But I think that I've seen a lot of people are moving away from the U.S. Honestly. So somebody, uh, somebody is saying something. Uh, you can always. Do. Somebody is, say, is saying no. You can always leave the country. So most of these people who are commenting here are actually Americans, but they've had enough. You know, Africans are running to U.S. So that they can be able to have it easier in the u.s but then people in the u.s are running out of u.s because they have seen the happenings in there and they feel like it's not conducive and it is not okay it's not an okay place to raise a raise children even to have a family so you can imagine how always people are brainwashed to think that it's always it will it always better outside but i would say all all the african people who are in diaspora or who are in in us i would say really like whichever whatever money that you have so long as if you find it's 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 um i know that if you do your research and find a place how you can buy a house in in kenya even if let's say you can use um, i don't know i don't know depend you are a kenyan you are an african to kenya why aren't you not going why are you not going to canada or US or Australia, honey, news for you. People are moving away from there. People are coming back home. So why are you telling me to go to go to go outside, outside Kenya? Even comparing me with your cousin who sort of found, uh, you know, found uh, something better and went to, to Germany or went to France or went where, you're saying, how can, you? somebody told me this, you guys, somebody tell me, I pity you over 10 years and you have not made anything with yourself. You are working only in the hotel, in cheap, cheap hotels. And then you, you are standing up and then you go back to Africa. You have nothing to see. You know, why didn't you? And then they started comparing with their cousin. They say, my cousin found a man. Why don't you find yourself a man, a man, and then go, go with him for passport? Why are you not smart? Why are you not using your head? Shame on you. Shame on you. Not everybody uses their punami to get ahead in life. Not everybody. Hmm? I don't know how your cousin met with that, that, whichever people they met with. I don't know. Her life is different from my life. There are people who prostitute themselves through Europe to find a passport with this man. That's not my life. These things, the way they started, they always started with an agenda. I don't have it. If I have my mother, motherland, I can go back there. Why do I need to, 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 to beg people for a passport? Why do I need to prostitute myself for a passport? Why do I need to be, be disrespected for a passport? And then people, fellow Africans are very comfortable commenting this kind of bullshit in my, in my videos. Very unfortunate. So, um um somebody is saying somebody is saying i definitely did so it's like they stop they put a halt on their family on their having children 
so because of everything that is happening in america so they said i definitely did put a stop i was i was supposed to do my um my uh my ivf in june and then decided to wait i have i have this uh, eternal fear of having a little boy and raising him in america i had i had to take some time to regroup pray and decide to do my IVF this month. I want to be a mommy more than anything. So there are people who who are thinking twice, you know, thinking twice. And these are, uh, so Love Jones is asking me if I have a house in, in, in Kenya. Um, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have one. Uh, somebody else, um, um, this one, a lot of people are com have commented, but I'm not going to read to you guys the people's reply there. I used to think that, uh, but there is always going to be something going on in, in the U.S. I always thought it would be neat to live in another country, though. I don't know if uh, RN9, uh, my, my RN, I think that is a registered nurse, license will transfer, uh, and I, f for one, will be will do nursing school all over again or what but you guys you know the reason why people are leaving us people are leaving africa even to go to us is because of the pay you know i just wish that we had different leaders in our country who are more worried about like they want to take care of their people because life can be much much easier if 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 our government leaders had been a bit more uh concerned or a bit more uh thinking about their people and by now everybody could have gotten back home because there is a lot of lands that are just like lying there nobody has gosh there's land in kenya that is going at such cheap prices people are selling land at the most cheapest prices living comfortably like guys one mm -hmm. thing that i know that is very cheap in africa is land just to get land that you have paper this is mine it's absolutely cheap just if you get uh genuine people who are selling them you don't just get to be sold land by just anybody of course if you find a genuine person or even if you buy land from an owner so you know somebody who is actually have gotten papers and they are actually selling this land it is very easy to to own a place and to have a retirement home that is even in Nanyuki, you know, even in the mountains near Nanyuki or even in, in Sioki, what is it called? A lot of places that are very beautiful with beautiful sceneries that don't even cost you much compared to what you can get in, 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 in America, this America that everyone is running into. People are saying, oh, if you change dollars and if you make, you know, dollars is a bit more higher, regardless of what you think it is high and your life is going to be easier there. I doubt it. I doubt it, you guys. So somebody is saying, um, that issue most, uh, it hasn't changed my plans. So anyway, I think that is it. That is, is it with the, whatever these people were saying. But I've seen that a lot of the, there's a, an American lady who is uh, urging people to leave. Let me read what you, what you, are, you guys are, I see. So, Pebbles is saying I had land in Nigeria. M M Motives is saying look me up, uh, hook me up with land. Be my agent. M M Notice, guys, if you want, I can I can hook you up with somebody who whom I know sells land. Honestly, I can hook you up with somebody. The person who sold me land which i know my land was genuine you just need to find a lawyer or uh, you just need to find an advocate and then you need to buy this land because she told me that she have a couple of land that she still you know because her husband works with kenya land surveyors so everybody people who sell lands usually ask them to find them customers or whatnot but this lady is somebody that i know and i know even her house where she stays i can take you inside her home and tell you here this is where my friend stays and this is the one who sold me land so i have her contacts and if you guys want that is somebody that i i i have i can give you guys a recommendation for sure so um and that is in kenya 
Uh, so what is killing Cameroons? That is Mary Kembe is saying, what is killing Cameroon is their leaders. Uh, we care about uh, only about our lives. Equally in Kenya, guys, and every part of Africa, if you come, just know that that is what, what you're going to be dealing with. That is what you're going to be dealing with is the leadership is... I don't even know what to, what, to, what to call it. I don't know what to call it, guys. They bring us backwards like crazy. Hmm? They bring us backwards. A road that is so small, that is like from here to just there, it will take them years and years before they think of mending this road. Or even the potholes will take them years. They don't care. So long as the money, the money gets inside their pockets and their families are fed, they don't do what they are elected to do. In most cases, I have never voted in Kenya and I will never vote. That is the reason why I will never vote in Kenya. There is just a lot of mediocrity. And even this lady who is living in Gambia, she, she will tell you. I know that there's a lot of people who will say, why are you talking ill about Africa? Why are you, why are you putting Africa law and, and trying to tell people that Africa is not a good place? I say to you that Africa have very big potential very very big potential but the corruption and backward backwardness the mind of being backward is what is making it fall and it is what will always make it fall but when it comes to uh to coming and developing there and building your home and buying it's the cheapest place let me just tell you that guys it's the cheapest place where you can live and nobody is bothering you did you pay your tax because tax it's like they so long as you pay it's not expensive it's like coins change you know so i know that i am afraid i in my last video i was telling you guys i'm afraid about security these are the things that comes with in kenya again that you have to worry about your own security you have to look at watch your back and you have to be careful you have to live like a ninja, always careful, you know, not careless anymore. You have to watch your back because, you know, different environment. But then again, then again, you just need to be careful. That's all. So Purpose is saying also families in Africa depend on you as soon as you are in America. ETC, until that stops, then I know African countries are getting better. Um... If that is what I said in my last video, that you guys are the ones who are allowing them to ride over you, to ride be on your back from A to Z. I'm saying, I'm saying that you need to stop that. You need to stop. The only people that you are obliged to help is your parents, if you are in a position to do so. But not everyone in your family. Like, you have to cut it off. Just cut it off and you are not going to be a ticket for everybody to get out of whatever they want to get out. To worry about yourself first and then if you have any leftover money then you can think of giving but it's not a must you know it's not something a must so america is what you make or uh you make of it it's besides external forces of which you cannot control i'm scheduled to fly to south africa next month let us hope we, uh, uh, the flight takes off. Uh, you know what, MM Motives, this is exactly what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping that my flight takes off and I leave this country. <laughs> Honestly, until the day that I get inside that flight, that is the day that I will. And I see that the flight is actually leaving the runway and we are taking off. That is the time that I will. Otherwise, with this COVID, I don't know what and anything can happen. Uh, so what place is better to live around the world? I am actually doing fine in the USA. Different stroke for different people. Okay. If you're doing fine in the USA, then that's good. If you're doing fine, then it just depends, man. It depends. So I thought America is the greatest country in the world and the land of free. You are not, you are not, you are mistaken. You are mistaken. The toiling there, the toiling in America is quite extreme. It's very extreme. Making it there is extreme. Extreme, you know. Uh, that tax translates to special security benefits when you retire. Okay. 
it depends on what you are doing and the money you are making okay you are a target to shooting from black on black crime police brutality have crime hate crime etc also support family members under lockdown uh i have i have home and building seems like motives your life is doing great yeah 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 because you told me that you you're sending money to south africa that's amazing seems like life is amazing for you in the u.s uh but it goes long way in african countries do you know what is the value that the value of us dollars is getting low we are behind you coming home joel smart is saying that she's coming home come guys come let's go america is just a cash cow i've read that i am in atlanta and i'm sending money to south africa monthly um so you say you're at work so that's nice i think that's true it's good to show real life I think that's it you guys have said so um there you go guys they said in that video my yesterday's video and some comments obviously did not write me the right way but i and i know that some of you guys usually tell me don't address these comments but i feel the need to address them and it's okay too so anywho guys i thank you guys for hanging out with me if you like this video kindly don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video have a lovely day bye bye